Come to your mat, bring your feet underneath your hips, roll your shoulders back, let your palms open up towards the front of the room, or if you're outside with me, let your palms open up forward, relax the shoulders back again. Let's take an inhale, sweeping up to the sky. As you exhale, hinge from your hips, let your palms turn down towards the floor, soften your knees, go all the way down towards the ground, release your neck, let your hands part, Take an inhale, sweep all the way back up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hinge from your hips with a flat back all the way down towards your toes. Palms turn down. At the very bottom, your hands relax. Inhale, place your hands on your shins. Come up halfway, lifting through your heart. Exhale, fold down towards your toes. Inhale, extend. Come all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, sweep up. Press your palms together. Let your hands go first. Let your chin go to your chest and you're rounding through your spine. This is very different than our yoga forward fold. It's an articulation through the spine. At the bottom, your hands part. Your head is heavy, your neck is relaxed and I need you to soften your knees a little bit more to really get the stretch, stretch to the back of your hamstrings. Take an inhale. Exhale, roll, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way up. Shoulders roll back at the top. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, Pilates dive forward. Hands go first, chin goes towards your chest. Soften your knees. Roll slowly down towards the ground, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale at the bottom. Take your time. Exhale, roll back up. Shoulders roll back. Again, inhale, sweep up. Palms come together, dive forward. Soften your knees, release your neck. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, roll on up. Shoulders roll back. Good. Inhale, sweep up. Take your right wrist into your left hand and give yourself a big tug over to the left, pushing your right hip out to the right. Inhale, come to center. Take your left wrist into your right hand and pull way over to the side. Inhale, come to center. Release your hands, take your hands behind you. Interlace your fingers. If you have shoulder injuries, keep your hands apart in cape pose. If your shoulders feel okay, really interlace your fingers and then bend both elbows. Bring your hands over towards your right hip. Draw your chin into your chest and take your right ear over to your right shoulder and press your left shoulder down and away. You're gonna feel a huge stretch to the side, the left side of your neck. Take an inhale. Exhale, chin into your chest. Let your hands come to center and then bend both elbows, trying to pull your hands over towards your left hip as much as you can and let your left ear roll over to your left shoulder, pressing your right shoulder down and away. I know I've been feeling like really tight by my neck today, so these neck stretches are really, really essential for my practice, um, and especially today. Take one more breath. Exhale, chin comes to center. Let your chin go parallel with the floor. Arms come back, take an inhale. As you exhale, hinge from your hips with a flat back, soften your knees, press your hands up. Inhale. Exhale, come up halfway, release your hands towards the ground. Fold and roll all the way up. Shoulders roll back. Step wide, taking your feet out, 11 and one. Place your hands on your inner thighs. Encourage your hips to drop down and back. Press your shoulders back. Drop your right shoulder and lift as you look past your left. Inhale, come to center. Drop your left shoulder and as you look past your right. Inhale, come to center. Let your belly drape down. Open your heart, shoulders back. Exhale, round through your spine, finding your cat pose. Inhale, belly comes down, heart goes forward, sumo cow. Exhale, round your spine into your cat pose. Do three of these to your own breath. Oh, thank you, Annie. Or well, maybe it's Anne. One more deep inhale. Exhale, roll, letting your hands drape down. Come on up. 
shoulders roll back at the top. Right. Let's step your feet closer together. Two fist distance apart, parallel. This is the space of your ASIS. Take your hands behind you, pressing your pinkies back and your fingers back. Now reach up to the sky as you stand up. If you have shoulder injuries, hands stay in front of the shoulders. Come down, press the pinkies back, sweep up. Maybe your hands reach up to the sky. If you have shoulder injuries, don't reach up to the sky. Come right in front of your shoulders, and we're gonna lower and lift. Lower and lift. Yeah. Now for those of us with shoulder injuries, we're gonna stay right in front of the shoulders with hands. If you have a knee injury, maybe you don't add the chair squat and you just work the arms. If my knees were feeling not so good today, this is where I would go. Maybe just a little soften and lift here. That will still get the muscles nice and warm. You don't have to do that full squat, but if you can, go for it. And find your full body breath. Your yogic breath is in through the nose, out of your nose. I like the Pilates breath for this type of workout, which is in through the nose, deep exhale at the mouth. And lift. And you want to find that slight pause at the top, slight pause at the bottom. It's like someone's taking our picture, and I say it all the time. You want that picture to come out really nice. You don't want it to be blurry. So it's like, cheese, cheese. Lately, I've been taking all these screenshots so that I have like a cover picture for these videos for you. And, um, I realized I have to smile more and I have to find those pauses because it was hard for me to actually find pictures. <laughs> okay, we have five like this. Four, three, two. Now bring your right knee up. We're not gonna alternate, right knee again. Right knee eight times. Eight, seven, Six, see if you can rotate the hands to get into the arms. Five, four, three, two, and hold on the one. Bend your elbows in front of your shoulders. Open up the elbows, open up the right knee out to the right. Exhale, squeeze your right knee in front of your right hip, elbows back in front of the shoulders. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze closed. Now this can be hard, right? Look at something that's not moving. Find that stabilizer with your gaze. If you need a real stabilizer, you can take your left hand to a wall or to a chair or to your couch. Most of you are at home. Get creative with your props. We have three, two, and one. Pull your right knee high into your chest, inhale. Exhale, reach your hands back, extend your right leg, find your Vera three. Press your pinkies back behind you. Land down lightly on your right toes. Scoot your right toes back. Your left knee should be over the ankle. If your knee is past the ankle, please scoot your left toes forward. Inhale, sweep up to the sky, shoulders back on top of your hips. If you have a lower back sensitivity, you would stay in your incline. Press your shoulders back on top of your hips. Bend your elbows out to the side. Come into your back bend if you feel safe. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Root into your left foot. Lift your right heel higher. Now float your right foot off the ground. Hold there. Close the hip. If you have a flashlight on your right hip, it should turn down towards the ground. Bend your left knee deeper. Squeeze your shoulder blades back and together for three, two. Gracefully step your right foot forward. We're gonna come into what they call beach ball arms. In your chair squat again. Lift up and lower down. And lift and lower down. Good, so back into that chair squat. Open the elbows wide. Open up from pec major and pec minor from your heart. Good, and squeeze those elbows back. 
someone gave me a compliment and said that I looked I looked great I think it's because I have to do all the classes with you right I can't take any breaks this new digital world you guys are really really rocking it for me but I feel good I feel strong thank you for keeping me motivated now let's pull your left knee in lower down exhale left knee in find that picture at the top picture at the top picture at the bottom now sometimes I might change directions for you just so you can see what's happening on the side of my body but also so I can stay on my mat and my feet won't get too dirty two and one pull your left knee up bring your elbows in front of your shoulders wrist on top of the elbows flex your left foot inhale open the left knee open the elbows exhale close inhale exhale squeeze close inhale exhale squeeze inhale exhale five inhale exhale four inhale exhale three two and hold on the one keep your knee high take an inhale lift the knee up higher exhale reach your hands behind you extend your left leg micro bend in your right knee find your virabhadrasana three warrior three for three two land lightly on your left toes scoot them back if you need to or scoot the right foot forward if you need to right ankle right underneath your knee Press your pinkies back, your straight line from the top of your head out your left heel. Now sweep your hands up. Maybe shift the shoulders back on top of your hips. Keep the bend in the front knee. Exhale, cactus arms. Open your heart towards the sky. Option to lift your gaze. Inhale, sweep up, gaze goes forward. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Root into your right foot a lot. It's like you're gonna break the ground underneath your right heel. Lift your left heel higher. Now pull off the ground, flex your left foot, micro bend your right knee, find the beer at three for five, four, three, two. Step your left foot forward. Let's press your arms back and lift up back into your chair squat. Rinse and repeat. This is our third set. And this is all our warm up, okay? You should start to feel really warm right about now. Let's see. Yeah, pretty warm, right? Maybe your sweat has started. I like to give you a nice warm up before we come down to the mat. And lift and lower and reach up and drop down. Four, three, two, and one. Let's take our hands to Anjali Mudra. Step your feet wide, toes out, 11 and one. Back into the sumo, get really low. Tricep press back and drop again. Stay tall through the top of your head. Your gaze is forward. Your heart is always higher than your hips. As we come down, our knees stay right on top of our ankles. And we're pushing our hips down and back. Like you're gonna sit into a baby chair behind you. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hang low. Lift your left heel, inhale. Exhale, turn towards your right. Sweep your hands towards your hips. Let them go out and around as you shift your shoulders back on top of your hips. Exhale, hands to your Anjali Mudra. Back to your heart. Take your hands towards your hips. Let your arms do that big circle as you come up to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good, inhale, sweep up. For my advanced students today, can you come into the warrior three as you bring your hands to your heart? Then land down for two. Sweep the arms up and towards the sky. Exhale, warrior three. Pull that energy in. Flex the left foot. Land down for two. 
come up and around. We got three like this. Three, well, three more, right? Ooh, big circle. Two. And one. Hold your warrior three. You can see here, I'm falling over a little bit. I'm using my stabilizer. Find your warrior three or your incline lunge for five, four, three, two. Land down lightly on your left toe. Sweep your hands up to the sky. Exhale, cactus arms or back bend again. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, reach forward, reach forward, reach forward, and then down to the ground. Step your right foot back. Find your plank. From plank, shift forward, shoulders past your hands seven inches. You can put your knees down if you need to. Bend your elbows by the side of your body. Come all the way down. Your hands should be underneath your elbows. Lift your heart, press your feet down. Lift your shoulders back and squeeze them together. Exhale, release. Curl your toes under. Inhale, press onto your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, let's take second position with our feet. Go as wide as your mat. Lift your heels up high. Bend your right knee, draw your left heel towards the ground. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend your left knee, draw the right heel down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, switch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, switch. Lift your heels up high first, switch second. Lift and switch. Lift and switch. One more each side. Good, let's draw both of our heels towards the ground. Lift your heels up high now. Bend your knees up towards your hands. Push your hips back. Exhale, downward duck. Take your feet parallel, two fists distance apart. Extend your right leg out. Big reach out in the inhale. As we exhale, bend your right knee. Bring it between your hands. Step your right foot between your hands. Scoot your right ankle underneath your right knee. Scooting is safer than kicking. Inhale. As you exhale, come onto your fingertips. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lift up six inches away from the ground with your fingertips. Take your hands behind you. Press your pinkies back. Get strong and warm through the back of the arm. Hold here. Breathe into that right glute again for three, two, one. Stay in your incline. Reach your hands up and around. Bring your hands to your heart. Turn to your left. Come back into your sumo with your tricep presses. Lower down, press on out. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. And this is where that Pilates breath can really help you. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale the mouth, blow it out. We are building a lot of heat here. It's okay to let it go. Blow out that stress that you do not need. Those things that are toxic in your body and in your mind. Let it go right now. Three, two, and one. Let's hang down low. Push your hips back, recenter, catch your breath. Exhale, lift your right heel, hold there. Don't move too fast. Inhale, exhale, turn towards your left. Take your time, okay? Bend your left knee over the ankle. Hands come down by the side of your body, reach the hands back, then draw a big Pilates arm circle out and over your head. If your back feels okay, you shift your shoulders back on top of your hips. Not everybody has to do that. If you feel any pinching there, don't do it. Just stay in the incline. Now exhale, hands to your heart, incline lunge floor. All right, reach your hands back for two, come up and towards the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart for two, incline lunge. Hands come down for two, up and around for two. Exhale, maybe warrior three for two. Come down 
for two. Up and around for two. Exhale, warrior three for two. Down for two. Up and around for two. Exhale, three left. Three. Down for two. Up and around for two. Two. Down for two. Up and around for two. And last one. Hit that pose. Either your mirror three or your lunge. Hold for five. Four. Bend your front knee a little bit deeper. Lift the right heel higher. Three. Two. And land lightly on your back toes. Sweep your hands up. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your elbows out 90 degrees. Extend through your fingertips. Lift through your heart, your thoracic spine. Inhale. Sweep up. Exhale. Let's gracefully come down nice and slow to the ground. Plant your hands down. Step your left foot back. Find your plank. Spread every finger. Chin off the chest. Shift your shoulders past your hands seven inches. Shift them back. Shift them forward. Shift them back. Chin away from your chest. Five, four, three, two. And now shift forward. Bend the elbows by the side of your body. Chest touches before abs or thighs do. Inhale, lift your heart, low cobra, press your feet down against the mat so much that your kneecaps lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, straighten your arms, pressing onto your knees. Hinge from the hips. Come into your extended child's pose. Take your knees as wide as your mat. Big toes come towards each other. Walk your hands over towards the right side of your mat. Take your left hand on top of your right. Push your hips down and to the left. Walk your hands over to the left side of your mat. Take your right hand on top of your left. Push your hips down and to the right. Walk your hands to center. Press into your palms. Round through your spine and then drop into your neutral spine. Bring your knees underneath your hips. For those of us that want some like cushion, grab your blanket or your towel, place it underneath your knees, okay? Perfect. Inhale, belly comes down, heart goes forward. Exhale, round. For a sensitive wrist, please bring your forearms down or forearms onto blocks. Find that full body breath again, in through your nose, out of your mouth. Oh, I'm just gonna move you because the rest of the class will pretty much be down. Keep on working your way through your cat cow. Finding that awesome massage. If you ever need to grab your water and take your water break, go for it. I might not cue it, but you know, listen to your body. You are a student of your body, a student of your breath. One more deep inhale. Exhale, round back into extended child's pose. Push your hips down and back, forehead comes to the mat. Turn your left ear towards the floor. Take your right hand up to the sky and then around you. Bend your right elbow, maybe your fingertips. The right fingertips can tuck onto the top of your left thigh. Not for me, maybe for you. Okay, bring your right hand up. Right hand down. Take your right ear towards the floor. Take your left hand up and around. Left elbow bends. And maybe the left fingertips tuck into the top of the right thigh. Inhale, reach your left hand out. Shift your shoulders on top of your hands. Knees underneath your hips. Bring your forearms down. Interlace your forearms, except for your pinky finger. Curl your toes under and find your forearm plank here. Chin off the chest, look past your knuckles. Hold it. Try to have everything firm except your glutes. No tucking the pelvis. Keep your booty cheeks soft. We just have a little bit here. A little bit here, hold, and you're breathing, and you're feeling good. About 20 more seconds here. Your timer is on. Nine seconds. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your knees slowly down. Take them as wide as you like. Hips go back. Bend your elbows, taking your hands into prayer behind your neck. Tricep stretch. Inhale, reach your hands out. Now slide your hands back, rolling your shoulders back on top of your hips. Awesome. Sitting on our heels is hero's pose. If this doesn't feel good to you, you could try to curl the toes under. You could also do this sitting any way you like or in a chair. Undulate through your spine, working through your posterior tilt. Come through the neutral and then interior tilt. Stick that tailbone out and again. I think my neighbors decided to do some construction today. If it gets too loud and you can't hear me over the background, um, type it to me, I'll go inside, I'll move for you. I did just check audio or my advanced settings in my audio and I wanted to make sure that it was canceling out the noise around me. So I try to add on some extra sound suppression for you. Okay. Good, now let's come onto the knees. This is a variation of thigh stretch. I have these one pounder weights. I'm gonna add them. If you have your weights, you can go ahead and add them too. Um, you could always use bottles of water or even cans of soup. Hips are going to stay in extension. That means the hips stay straight. Reach your hands out in front of your shoulders, turn your palms up, and now hinge back from the knees, pressing your arms back. Keep your hips straight. Okay, just lift and come just back a little bit. You don't have to go that far. And I'm gonna to try to keep my neck more straight now, not look over at you as much, just because my neck feels so weird today. I honestly think it's from doing late night online shopping on my phone. I keep on looking down at my phone and I look for all of these things that I like. It's my therapy. This and shopping. Three. Two, and one. Now hinge from your hips, bend from the hip, lift up. Now it's like there's a stack of books on your head. You're trying not to move the books. You're gonna bend from your hip bone. Inhale, exhale, turn that palm down. Inhale, lift, exhale, turn it down. We have just a little bit more here. And you're breathing big. Softening your eyebrows, you're softening your jaw. You're taking your time as you lift and as you lower with that really, really tall spine. Four. Three. Two. And one, awesome. Let's come all the way down. Bring your hands to the ground, shift your knees back, and then bring your elbows to bend, come down onto your belly. Stack your hands underneath your head. Bend both knees, flexing your feet, heels together, toes apart. Now a little lift of your knees, one inch off the ground. Now, some of us won't move our knees at all. That's okay. Just squeeze the heels in towards the glute. You wanna feel your booty cheek contract as you lift. The knees don't have to lift. And squeeze those heels together. Like there is a diamond between your heels and I'm like, don't drop that diamond. It is worth so much. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold here. Point the toes. Now the toes touch, big toes touch together and little tap, little tap. Also important not to look up. Your head should be relaxed on your hands. Tap and tap and tap and keep on tapping. Shoulders relaxed. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two. Hold here. Scoot your knees closer together. Extend your legs. Point your toes so much that your kneecaps lift. Pedal out through the legs. One inch up, one inch down. Pedal, 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 pedal. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one. And hold. Some of you will stay here. Others will lift your heart in your hands with me. If you have a low back situation, you won't do this, but I want you to pedal through the whole body. Pedal through your hands, pedal through your toes. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, 20. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, 30. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, 40. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, 50. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, 60. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, 70. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, 80. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, 90. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Lift your heart. Point your toes. Lift up higher. Hold. Lift up higher. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Release your shoulders, neck, and head. Arms go along by the side of your body. Turn onto your left cheek. Stretching to the side of your neck. Turn onto your right cheek. Turn out to your forehead. Take your hands by the side of your body, underneath your elbows, by your floating ribs. You're gonna hear me say that a lot because I want you to get your alignment really, really perfect. Exhale, come down and back. Child's pose. I'm just kidding, there's no perfect, right? There's just your practice, your pose, and what is right for you. You are your own. Perfect, your own magic, okay? Now let's extend your right leg out behind you. Before you get there, find your tabletop again. I'm gonna turn around so that my neck doesn't get really tweaky on one side of my neck. Um, if you need to turn around or move your monitor, please do so. Otherwise, don't look over here, just listen to my cues. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Extend your left leg. Bring your left leg down. Now without moving your tabletop, extend your right leg. Did you lean? I'm not sure, bring the right leg down. Now extend, don't extend, just lift the left knee without moving your tabletop, drop it down. Lift your right knee without moving the tabletop, drop it down. Lift your left knee without moving your tabletop, without leaning, drop it down. Lift the right knee. Okay. It's kind of hard like to really engage your inner thigh and your core to make sure you're not leaning and retracting the shoulders. You're holding an upper body plank the whole time. If you hyperextend like me, we go over straight. It's not good for us. Let's bend the elbows a little bit. Now lift your right toes, keep the right knee down and take your right toes over to the right. Look back at the right toes and take your right toes over towards the left. Look back at the right toes. Go to the right go to the left and you're looking over your shoulder towards the toe this is nice to get into that side stretching lateral stretching of your spine also to check in right like if you can't see your toes that's some place to work towards okay now bring your right toes down let's do that with your left foot lift your left foot take your left foot over to the left take it over to the right look back at it without moving the knees but you are wagging your tail side to side. That's what it's called. I joke and I said, I always used to say in class, I paid a lot of money to learn this one. One and one. Let's stop wagging our tail. Bring your right leg out behind you. Extend the right leg. If you need to bring your forearms down, go ahead. Close the right hip. Tap the right toes past the left calf without leaning and then lift the right foot up. Pull your right knee towards the right elbow without moving your spine, okay? It's like I put a block on your low back. Don't drop that block. Cross over and tap for two. I'm gonna move my weights out of the way. Lift up for two, knee to elbow for two. 
reach for two, cross and tap for two, no leaning, lift for two, knee to elbow for two, reach out, cross and tap, lift up, exhale, knee to elbow. No rounding through the spine, okay? Lots of times, for me and other yogis, we wanna go through this cat-cow motion through our whole spine. Don't do it. Don't move your spine. Don't move your shoulders. It's different than that cat-cow motion, okay? We're finding that pelvic stability. We're finding our shoulder stability. We're finding our core stability. We got five more like this. Cross and tap. Reach on up. Four. Cross and tap. Lift on up. Three. And I'm bringing my forearms down to give my wrists some break. A little bit of a break. Two. Three. And hold on one. Hold on one. Let's all bring your right, I'm sorry, left forearm down. Open up your right hip, flex your right foot, push the right heel behind you, and a little lift, a little lift. Lift your right heel the highest, and then lift it up higher, and then push your right heel behind you, like someone's standing behind you, and you wanna kick them down. And lift, and lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold here, press deep into your left forearm, take your right hand to the sky, Flex your right foot, lift it higher for five. Find that focus point, four. Lift your right heel higher, three. Two, and slowly bring your right hand down. Bring your right knee down without plopping it down. Take your knees wide, find your extended child's pose. Inhale, come to center, bring your knees back to ASIS distance. Retract the shoulders, press them back into their sockets, soften the elbows if you need to, you hyperextenders out there. Extend your left leg, point the toe, keep the hip closed. Cross and tap over the right calf. Lift up, right behind the hip. Exhale, knee to elbow. Reach out for two, cross and tap for two. Lift up, exhale, blow it out. Reach out, cross and tap. Lift up, exhale, blow it out. Reach out, cross and tap. Lift on up, exhale, release, reach out. Cross and tap, lift up, exhale, five left. Reach, cross and tap, no moving the hips. Lift, no moving the shoulders. I would even say, Try not to move your head. Lift your chin away from your heart. Three. Soften the elbows if you need to. Two. And one. Reach your left leg out. Let's bring your right forearm down, everyone. Open up your left hip. That means we have to push that right hip underneath our left as much as possible. Lift your left heel. Come onto your left fingertips. Put more of your weight into your right forearm and little lift, a little lift. You're lifting up that left heel and pushing it behind you. Kick down that person, whatever, whoever that person is. For me, it's my husband. I'm just like, go away, get out of here. That's how it was right before this class. But thank you for letting me de-stress with you. <laughs> I feel a lot better. Yes, and lift. And lift, we got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Lift that heel at your highest point. Take your left hand to the sky. Open up for five. Awesome. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly release your left hand. Gracefully release the left knee. Knees go as wide as the mat. Hips go down. Toes come towards each other. We could always toggle the hips side to side and take the head left to right, shake it out. Round your spine. Let's come into tabletop and then into sitting. Awesome. Now we're gonna extend our legs out in front of us. 
If you tighten the hamstrings, you'll keep a soften through the knees or you can roll up a towel or blanket. If you're feeling tight through your back and you want more articulation, more rounding through your spine, you're gonna grab your weights. Your weights are actually gonna help you. They don't make it harder, they make it more accessible for this type of pose. Okay, I'm gonna grab my weights because I feel like I want that counterbalance, counteraction. Let's take your hands out in front of you. Your tailbone should be neutral, like the, the natural spine that you walk with. And as you come back, you're gonna tuck your pelvis. We're gonna roll halfway back. You're gonna take an inhale, halfway back. And as you exhale, round your spine at the very top, chin comes off your chest, tailbone neck back into neutral. Inhale, exhale, posterior tilt of your pelvis. Roll halfway back, take a hold, take that picture. Exhale, roll back up option for your hands to come up to the sky. Inhale, exhale, hands up from the shoulders, roll halfway back, and roll back up. Good. Keep on going. Three like this. Three. Two. except for our, pink, our pointer finger, bend your knees. Take your hands out in front of your shoulders, inhale. Exhale, come halfway back, row your arms over to the right. You can bend the right elbow, come to center, row over to the left. Stay in that incline back. We're going right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center. Roll back up, option for your hands to come up to the sky. Hips in neutral, tailbone in neutral. And bring your hands in front of your shoulders. Come halfway back. Hold. Right. Center. Left. Center. Right. Center. Left. Center. And come back up. Now, my advanced yogis or Pilates practitioners, you're going to roll halfway back. We're going to bring those feet up. Hold them there. And right. Center. Don't move your feet. Left. Center. Right. Center. Left. Center. Come back up, feet land like little clouds. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, come halfway back. Can we lift the feet? Hold them there. Right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center. And land like a little cloud. Sweep up, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna go for a long set here. Let's do eight on each side. Inhale, center. Exhale to the side. Eight. Eight, into the nose, out of the mouth, seven. Seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, ah, three, three, two, two, one, and hold on the one. Hands come to your thighs, right around the thighs. Bend your knees, bring your knees towards your heart, point your toes. I get little lightning bolts coming out your toes. Pew! and reach your legs long. Bring your body back, the upper body without your shoulders touching the mat. Inhale, exhale, come back up and reach. And maybe clap onto the ankles and reach. And exhale, pull in. If you want, use that grab of your thighs again. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold here. Don't lose it. Let's find our boat pose. Extend your legs, reach your hands out. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Legs go forward, sweep your hands up. Exhale, fold towards your shins. Inhale, bring your hands on your shins, lift your gaze, retract your shoulders. Exhale, fold deeper towards your toes. Good. Let's bring the soles of your feet together. Knees go out in your Buddha Konasana. Lift your heart between your biceps. Exhale, fold down towards your toes. Our psoas and hip flexors can get really tight through all that ab work. So it's nice to take that counter stretch when we can. Okay, let's come on up. Pull your right knee in and your left knee in. 
I'm gonna release my weights. Hold around your shins. In this pose, I'm gonna move my towel too. In this pose, we're gonna round through the spine. You're gonna come onto your shoulders, not your neck or your head, okay? Don't let the head touch the ground. Bring your feet up and land the feet lightly down. And let's do that again. Bring your feet up, hold, and land lightly down. If you have MS or vertigo or scoliosis or a special case, a special spine, you will work the abs here. You can do variations here again. You can do a little tap, a baby half roll. Some of us will do the full roll. So we're gonna bring the feet up, come on only to the shoulders and roll up and hold. Feet don't touch the ground, okay? Inhale, exhale, roll up and hold. Inhale, exhale, roll up and hold. Now if you want more of a challenge at the top, strike that pose, bring your hands up to the sky, exhale, bring your hands towards the calves or the shins. No head flicking and no shin kicking. Those knees stay the same amount of flexion the whole time. So I'm not using my legs to gain momentum forward and back, okay? Keep your body in the same pose. Only use your core to roll back and lift and hold. Three. Two. And one, hold here, bring your knees towards each other. Extend your right leg, hold, take that picture. Bend your right knee, left knee reaches up. Pull it in, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. We have five, five, four. Try not to move the upper body, four. If there's a glass of wine on your head, don't spill it. Three, three, two, two, one. And one, hold here. Reach your arms up to the sky, maybe extend your legs for three, two, and slowly roll back. Bend your knees, come into your windshield wipers. Hands can go wherever you'd like. Let your knees lean towards the left and let your knees lean towards the right. Awesome. You're gonna grab your towel or your pillow or your Pilates ball. If you do not have your pillow or Pilates ball, you grab your towel, you fold your towel up once, you fold your towel up twice, you fold your towel up three times, three times a lady. Just kidding, three times a towel. Roll up that towel and then that becomes a cute little ball and you can use this like in every class, okay? You can use it in between the inner thighs, um, underneath the tailbone. Hold onto that ball. Come back into supine on your mat. Tuck your pelvis, lift your hips on up. Bring that ball underneath the end of your tailbone, tops of your sit bones, okay? Get organized, right? Um, you might have to flip the towel around. That's what I had to do to feel comfortable. Hands come down by the side of your body. Bring your knees into tabletop, right above your hip bones. Now extend your right leg out, point the right toes, also point the left toes. The left knee comes on top of the left hip bone. Bring your right knee back to center. Take your left leg out, exhale back to center. Sometimes I place my hands right above my hip bones so that I know I'm stopping myself and I'm not cheating. If those knees come up too high into your chest, it makes things easy. You kind of take a break and you're like, oh, this looks good. No, it, no, don't do that. <laughs> extend your right leg, pull it in, extend your left leg, pull it in. Good, option for the hands to come up to the sky. If you're feeling like you need more, take your hands behind your head, lift your shoulders, your neck, your head, but don't pull on your head. I would say that's one of the biggest mistakes I see in class is people pulling on their head. Lift from your chest, okay? Your fifth rib, it's about center nipple, lift from there. <sighs> Find that curl, let your head be heavy in your hands. Lead with your heart and not your head. 
that's going to be a shirt. I'm going to make that lead with your heart, not your head. Pilates fusion with row. Five. Exhales, knees come in. Five. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. And one. Hold here. Extend your legs up to 90. If you're feeling tight, you won't be at a full 90. You'll be like more 80 or 75. But if you can't come up to 90, now heels together, toes apart. Dorsiflex your feet, peeling the toes back. Draw a line down 45 degrees. Now point your toes and lift back up to 90 or around 90. Flex your feet, come down. And point your toes, lift on up. Good. Option for you to lift your hands and just dig your elbows into the ground. Option for the hands to come into the sky. Okay. We're all at different pages in our book. But we're on the same book. Don't compare yourself to me. We can't see our neighbor. That's great. Ooh. Flex as you point. I'm sorry. Flex as you lower. Point as you lift. Ugh. Let's do three, two, and one. Come up. Let your feet go out to the side, coming into a big straddle. Now flex your feet, go down and around. Let the heels click and they squeeze together. Point your toes, come up. Go out to the side, flex your feet, go draw a big circle. Point, inhale, lift, go out. Flex, heel, exhale, drop it around. Point, open, flex, close, point, draw that line, open, flex, close. Three, two, And one, switch direction. Go out and around. Flex when you're in your straddle. Squeeze your heels up to 90. Point. Go out and around. Once you hit your straddle, flex your feet. Squeeze back to 90. Point. Go down. Out and around. Flex and squeeze. I haven't done these in a while. Point. Go down. Out and open. Flex. Squeeze. Three, two, and one more. Come to center, drop your feet away from you as close as we can get to 45 degrees, and then bend the knees. Heels together, toes apart, knees track, open the same direction as your toes. So like a slight V shape. That's what I'm seeing. Now press your heels out. Right, like you're pushing away that person again. Whatever that person is, you don't have to tell me. Okay? Just visualize it. Get away. Maybe you're pushing negative energy away. Right, you're pushing your stress away. And hold on the one. Bend your left knee. Extend your right leg out to the right. It's called Peter Pan. Now click your heels back to center, out 45 degrees. Bend your right knee. Extend the left leg out to the left. Click back together. Boom. And then come to this side. And boom. And switch. And boom. And if you want, you can organize the hands with your Peter Pan. coordination and let's do three exhale come back to center click those heels together three two two one and one come to center 
add a little scoop up, lifting your hips towards your ribs. Just a little scoop. Five, four, three, two, and on one, lift your shoulders, neck, and head. Option for your hands to support your head. Push your feet away from you. Find your shakes. Okay, find those really, really grand finale. Really, really deep shakes. Hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Release your shoulders, neck, and head. Take your feet wide and stretch out over your prop, taking your hands behind you. Grab your right wrist into your left hand. Push your hips down to the right and push your hands and pull your hands over to the left. Take your left wrist into your right hand, pull your arms and your hands over to the right. Drop that left hip over to the left. Right, come back to center. Release your hands by the side of your body. Bend your knees, take an inhale. Exhale, tuck your pelvis, lift your hips, release your prop, roll down. Take your feet as wide as your mat in second position. Toes slightly turn out, heels slightly turn in. Inhale, sweep up to the sky, lift your hips, reach your hands behind you. Exhale, roll down, drawing a line down the ceiling. Please make sure nothing is underneath your head and try not to move your neck left to right. Take an inhale at the bottom. Exhale, tuck your pelvis, roll on up. Sweep your hands up behind you. Exhale, roll down. Last one here. Inhale, sweep on up, lift your hips. Exhale, roll down. Right, bring your knees into your chest. Arms come out into a T or cactus. Inhale, exhale, knees go to the right, gaze goes to the left. Inhale, bring your knees up nice and high. Exhale, twist. Bring your knees in. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees go out very quick, Shavasana here. Hands reach behind you or anywhere you like. Close your eyes, bring yourself back to you. Letting your breath relax, letting your mind relax, your body releases into the mat. your toes and your fingers reach your right arm out over you and roll over to your right side using your arm as a pillow underneath your head bend your knees your free hand goes wherever you'd like and let's push yourself up into a seated position however you'd like to sit is perfect inhale sweep up to the sky Exhale, turn the palms out, let your hands go out and around. Inhale, big sweep. Exhale, huge release. One more, inhale, soak in all that goodness you created. Exhale, bring that energy down to your heart center. Let's take one more grateful breath together. Thank you for letting me practice with you today. Have a great day, everyone. Namaste. be here if you have any questions. I've missed your classes. I'm really glad to see you. <laughs> oh, Reese, it's so good to see you too. Um, yeah, I, I'm sure.